Hi, I am Mohamed Suhail and welcome to our presentation on segmentation grounded scene graph generation. This work was done in collaboration with Sidesh and Professor Siegel at University of British Columbia. Scene graphs are structured representation of a scene that explicitly defines the objects and the corresponding relationship between them. As an example, for this particular image, the notes in the scene graph would contain bounding box annotations for person, jacket, bag, and plate, with the edges encoding relations such as person carrying bag and person holding plate. Scene graphs have become increasingly popular over the years in the vision community. Existing scene graph methods either focus on developing new architectures to improve performance, for example, Motif and VC3, or developing novel training frameworks such as density aware loss, energy loss, etc. to incorporate effective inductive biases that improve prediction quality. The motivation of our work is guided by a simple observation that is shared across all existing methods, wherein they rely on grounding objects within an image to bounding boxes before generating a graphical representation. These boxes are usually obtained via a pre-trained object detector like FASTER or CNN. As these boxes are rectangular in nature, they miss out on the granular details and interactions between objects. The ability to ground objects to pixel level segmentation mask would therefore be more valuable. As seen from this example, such a granular grounding allows the model to accurately predict relations such as lady holding plate and lady carrying bag, which are either missing or misclassified in the previous example. Additionally, as scene graphs effectively capture global context, the representation they learn can in turn be used to refine the segmentation masks. A major challenge, however, in effectively grounding object to pixel level regions is the lack of segmentation annotation in traditional scene graph datasets. Additionally, collecting these annotations on the scale of these datasets is infeasible due to the large number of images and object classes. Our work aims to overcome this challenge by providing a multitask learning framework. The contribution of this work are threefold. First, we propose a novel framework to ground objects to pixel level regions in an image. Relations are grounded via a novel Gaussian masking mechanism. Our approach is extremely flexible and can be augmented to any existing scene graph method. Second, our approach does not require scene graph datasets to have segmentation annotations. Rather, we utilize a zero-shot mechanism to transfer segmentation information from an auxiliary dataset. Finally, through evaluation on standard scene graph benchmarks, we show improvement of up to 12% by augmenting our approach to existing methods. As we use a multitask training approach to train our model, our method requires the availability of two datasets. First, like all existing methods, we assume the availability of a scene graph dataset where each image is annotated with bounding boxes and the corresponding relations between them. Second, we assume the availability of an additional dataset where each image contains bounding box and segmentation annotations for the objects present within. Note that in general, the classes in the Oxford dataset can have minimal overlap with those in the scene graph dataset, and both datasets do not need to share any images. In our work, we use the Visual Genome as the scene graph dataset and MS Coco as the Oxford dataset, owing to their popularity and public availability. Our approach builds on top of the standard pipeline for scene graph generation, wherein features extracted from an object detector are passed onto a global context aggregator before generating a scene graph. We add additional modules to effectively ground objects and relation to pixel level regions within the image. We can split our approach into five key stages. Similar to existing works, we pre-train an object detector to provide bounding boxes for images in visual genome. Our approach additionally learns a segmentation head for images in the MS Coco dataset. As the object classes are different in the two dataset, 
A zero short transfer mechanism is employed to obtain segmentation masks for objects in visual genome. Specifically, we learn the lingual similarity between class labels in the two dataset to transfer segmentation information from MS COCO to visual genome. The lingual similarity is computed using the inner product of their club embeddings. As the transfer mechanism can be used for objects in the scene graph dataset, the segmentation masks consequently obtained are used to ground objects to pixel level regions. A segmentation aware representation is obtained by combining the object features and corresponding zero shot masks using a neural network. Pixel level grounding of relations are represented as an intersection of its constituent object masks. This is achieved via a Gaussian masking mechanism, where each object mask is smoothed using a dynamic spatial convolution Gaussian filter. Similar to object features, a segmentation aware relation representation is obtained by providing this relation mask to a neural network. The segmentation aware object and relation representations are provided as input to the global context aggregating stage of methods like VC3 and Motif. Our approach can therefore be used with any existing architecture. Finally, as scene graph methods aim to effectively capture object interactions, the representation they learn can be leveraged to improve segmentation performance. To this end, we define a segmentation refinement module, which learns a residual over the segmentation masks generated by the zero-shot transfer mechanism. We now discuss the experiments conducted in our work. To investigate the performance of scene graph generation models, we use three different tasks. One, predicate classification, where given the image, bounding boxes, and object labels, the goal is to predict the relationships between them. Second, scene graph classification, where given the image and bounding boxes, the task is to predict the object labels and relation labels. And finally, scene graph detection, where given just the image, the model has to predict the entire scene graph configuration. We use the mean recall metric to measure the performance of various scene graph methods. As shown in prior works, the use of mean recall as opposed to regular recall is motivated by the presence of long tail distribution of relation label sampling in visual genome. For measuring the segmentation performance, we adopt the widely used average precision metric. We now discuss some of the quantitative results in the paper. We use the MOTIF and VC3 method as baselines for comparison. Using a resonant backbone in the object detector, our method showed significant boost in performance across all three tasks on both baselines. We also observe similar improvement in performance when using a VGG-based backbone in the object detector. Here, we showcase the use of our method to refine segmentation annotation. On all three tasks, we observe significant improvement in segmentation performance as compared to baseline when using the proposed segmentation refinement module. Here, we show a qualitative prediction of our model in contrast to the baseline VC3 model. Note that our model predicts more granular relations such as standing on and behind as opposed to the general relation on by the baseline. Here, we show an example of zero-shot relation prediction. Our model successfully detects the relation between cat and sign, whereas the baseline fails to do so. Here, we show an example of segmentation refinement using the proposed method. We can see a clear improvement in the quality of segmentation mask after using the refined module as shown on the right. To summarize, in this work, we propose a novel model agnostic framework for segmentation grounded scene graph generation. We show the advantage of our segmentation based method through analysis on different scene graph prediction tasks. Finally, we also highlight the benefit of simultaneously optimizing for scene graph and segmentation generation, which leads to improved performance on both. Thank you for listening.
for additional details, discussions, and results, please find our paper online.